Hello. Hello. How are you? Excuse you. Hello. How are you today? It's Vicky and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my PMS slash PMDD slash endometriosis essentials. I've talked about it in a previous video. I have endometriosis and basically that is very severe periods and ovulation, but I also have really severe PMS, which is also defined as PMDD, which gives you severe pain and severe mood swings in the week leading up to your period. So I have side effects when I ovulate, side effects leading up to my period, and then I also have these effects during my period. So obviously it's a fun, fun time for me all the time, I guess. So I wanted to share my essentials for you guys because these things have really changed my life and how I manage my pain. So if that's a video they would like to see, make sure that you keep watching. But before we get into the video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and click the bell icon down below so that you can stay notified to whenever I upload a new video. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So let's address the elephant in the room. I'm dressed a little bit differently today and that's because the first thing that I like to make sure that I do whenever I am ovulating or PMSing or on my period is wear comfy clothes. Now with that being said, that's pretty much three weeks out of the month that I am wearing primarily athleisure attire. But I mean, it's comfortable. I love it. I work out a lot lately. And so it's the most comfortable thing to just toss on and just be comfortable. And the leggings I'm wearing today are from Calvin Klein. They're really great. I used to wear sweatpants a lot during my period, but I found that the waistband really does cut at my stomach. And when you are bloated and when you're having cramps and back pain, you don't want a waistband of a sweatpant digging into you. And I know that that might sound ridiculous, but you are so sensitive in the torso when you have these symptoms. So anything can really bother it. So I really like that these leggings have a great shape to them but they also don't dig into my stomach so I think that these are great. I always have a jacket on as well because I get hot really quickly and then I get cold really quickly and so I like being able to change back and forth whenever I'm you know feeling a little bit of changes in my body due to the hormone changes. So I really like wearing hoodies and oversized sweatshirts. Plus it's great for hiding my bloat. Not that I'm like trying to hide my bloat, but I get very, very, very bloated. It's a very common symptom with endometriosis and also with PMDD. So I like to be able to make myself feel a little bit more secure. Like my stomach doesn't look like I'm nine months pregnant, even though I'm just on my period. So yes, clothes are definitely a big thing for me when I'm on my period and going through all of these symptoms. I also like having fuzzy slippers on my feet. I always wear slippers all the time, but like fuzzy ones, fuzzy socks, just being cozy. I think that's like the general thing that I'm trying to say is being cozy when you're on your period is essential. I mean, I'm personally bedridden for the first three days that I'm on my period, which sucks. <laughs> Um, I have to work from bed a lot. So I really like being comfortable and cozy and just snug and warm. Also fuzzy blankets are key and essential. I have them in every room of my house because I love a good fuzzy blanket. So moving on to the next item, pain medicine. This one is the extra strength acetaminophen. It's 500 milligrams and it is the Target brand. It's the same thing as the Tylenol extra strength tablets, capsules. Caplets. I used to take naproxen for my pain, but I find that I could take more of these over an extended period of time and it helps wane off my pain a lot more. Again, pain is a very big thing with PMDD and endometriosis. You have a lot of back pain. You have shooting leg pain. I have cramps that persist two to three weeks out of the month. Shoulder pain, migraines that are so splitting. I'll get to that a little bit more later, but having pain medicine is one of the best things that I can honestly say helps manage this a little bit better. I'm not a doctor or anything. I'm not telling you to like take this or take any medicine at all, but I have found that for me personally, I do like taking pain medicine to help help manage my symptoms. A lot of people take Excedrin. Um, I know that they take Midol. I'm allergic to Midol, can't take Excedrin. So this is honestly my best solution for this. And it was pretty affordable too. I think it was only like $5 from Target. I will try to find the price for that and link it. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is this guy right here. I know it looks really crazy and intimidating, but it is just a massager. It's like a shoulder back massager. I, again, have really bad back pain, shoulder pain. And so this really does get in there and get the job done. It has two different settings. And so here's the first one. You can hear like 
buzzing and I don't know if you can like see it but you can't you can't see it um but then there's a second setting which is very intense because I always have like a neck pain I don't know if you can hear me um but I always have like neck pain right here especially the week leading up to my period the week of my period randomly and so I like to like massage it when I'm sitting at my desk sorry I needed to get comfortable I find that sitting at my desk a lot, I type a lot, and so like I end up doing this like motion and then it gets really stiff. And so that really does help soothe my muscles and make me feel a little bit better. But going along the same lines of muscle soothing, it is my TENS unit. And I know that this probably looks like a remote. It looks very odd, but this is a lifesaver. This thing is a lifesaver because it sends electric waves to your body and it does a electric style of massage. So if you've ever been to the hospital and you've got an EKG done or or anything done where they hook you up to these like little, uh, what are they called? Electrodes. But you stick the electrodes on your body and it just massages all of your pain away. It's so odd. It causes involuntary muscle spasms where it's like the electricity. I don't even know how to explain it, but the electricity is like massaging all of your pain away. It has a little clip on the back so you can attach to your pants. The clip doesn't really work that well um, and it does run on AAA batteries, so that's really nice. I have another TENS unit that doesn't run on AAA batteries, it runs on a D-cell battery, and I hate that one. This one's from Amazon, it's the best one that I've tried, it has the most features. It stays charged and it just does the job so much better and it's way more affordable than the other one as well. I will try to link it down below or at least add the price of it down below, but I think it was only like 30 bucks. But yes, this is totally fantastic for if you have back pain, cramps, shoulder pain, literally any pain, it just massages it away. So I definitely would recommend this for anyone that has severe PMS, PMDD, endometriosis. So the next thing that I'm talking about is probably my favorite thing. It's probably my most useful thing and it's probably my most used thing. And it's incredible. My boyfriend got it for me for Christmas last year after I had been complaining a lot about back pain and cramps and just not having a heating pad that was big enough to do everything that I needed it to. So he got me this incredible heating pad. So it, it looks crazy. This is just what it looks like. It's from Sunbeam and it's super cool because A, it's super large, but here's the thing. You put it around your neck and there's a magnet and it stays put. And so you look like a, you know, crazy person, of course. But then there's like a wire in the neck and you can morph it around your neck so it stays put like right up against your neck. It's perfect and it gets so hot and I like it for my back. But I also really like it because I found that when I'm laying in bed, my whole entire torso hurts. The heating pads that I had before were so small. They were only like this big and they didn't cover, you know, my pelvis and also up to my abdomen. Like it didn't, there was so much space that was unaccounted for where I would like have to shift it up and down where this one I literally can just lay it flat on my bed and I just lay on top of it and my whole body just feels warm and nice and cozy and I like that it's kind of got that versatility as well because with the wire I can bend it to be morphing around my neck but I can also make it go flat so that I can lay on top of it. So I think that this is honestly the best gift that I've ever gotten in my entire life. And it's also great because I can use it while I'm watching TV. I use it all the time at my desk so much. I use it when I'm having shoulder pain or back pain, but then I also can drape it across my lap and sit here at my desk and do my work and everything like that. And it's really soft too. I didn't talk about that, but it's super soft and it's got like beads in it and it's weighted so that it doesn't like fly up or do anything. So something that used to bother me all the time is I would be in so much pain, horrible blinding pain for my period, and I would have to go to work. And I wanted to talk about something that I personally love, and it is the Thermacare heat wraps. These are incredible. This one is for back pain, but they also have one that's specifically for menstrual pain, which is incredible. So it's got like a little sticky thing on it and you stick it right in the front of your underwear and it just keeps heating up your muscles and soothing them and just making you feel really nice and warm and soothed and just relaxed a little bit. This one is for back pain, but also you can use it in the front. It doesn't really matter where you use the heat wrap. It just, it, they all do the same thing, honestly, but I really do like them also for when I'm traveling because when you are traveling, with endometriosis or PMDD, it's also very much a struggle. And it's always been my luck that I've always traveled whenever I'm on my period. So I always have like three of these whenever I'm traveling because they are so great. Again, going through like the heating pad, different tools and stuff. I love 
hot and cold compresses and I have three different ones in front of me. This one I think I got it from Target. You can freeze it and you can also heat it up which is the same for this eye mask that I have. These are great because I get very horrible migraines um, to the point where it feels like my skull is being split open by a sledgehammer. Sorry if that's too graphic. So I have to have three compresses on me at all times. So I always heat this one up. This one's always one that I get hot because whenever I have that migraine, I, I don't know, it's like something's wrong with my vision. Everything is just wrong. And so I need this to soothe my face. I'm also really photosensitive as well whenever I am going through these symptoms. So this is great because it blocks out the light it stays on my head and you know you just live your life and then I just like put this on my head like relax and you know succumb but then sometimes when it's really bad I have to break out this ice pack and this is the best ice pack I've ever used in my entire life when it's frozen solid it's still malleable and you can still like bend it around and like make it do what you need to do oh you could do hot too Dude, I did not know that I could heat this up. What? I can microwave it or boil it tea. I never like look too much into it. I got this from my chiropractor. It says that this is the comfort gel pack and it's the pack that remains flexible, which is the honest to God's truth. But I love this because whenever I'm like going through a migraine, I put this around my neck so that I don't like burn up. If you were to take anything away from what I'm saying in this little section right here for the ice pack hot compress section, get like a regular hot compress, like a ice pack thing. Like you just need one standard one I have two because I'm extra but this thing I slept on it for so long I had it for a very long time and I got it because I was like oh maybe I can like use it to depuff my eyes I never freaking did that but I do use it for when I have migraines and I got it from Marshalls I think I got from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx for like seven bucks I think they still have them these are so incredible I didn't realize how great it would be and how much it would change the way that I manage my symptoms. Definitely would recommend this. Also, this side's super soft. It's like a um, fleece fur feeling type. It's not fur, but it feels like that kind of like fleecy fur Sherpa Ugg material. I really like it. Also, I hope that you can't hear the rain. I'm so sorry if you can. I didn't realize it was raining until I started filming and then I was like, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was very informative and I also hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, let me know down below by giving this video a big thumbs up for me and subscribing to my channel. Also, please let me know down below if you guys have any other tips or tricks or tools that you use to help manage your cycles or track things or literally anything at all. Let me know down below because I would love to know what you guys use to help along this like cycle journey because it's not going away anytime soon. So. You know, we're all here trying to get through and help each other out. But until my next video, I hope that you stay kind and keep creating and I will see you very soon. Bye.